Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be best loose powders for dusky, deep brown Indian skin tones that are available in India. You guys have been really liking these sort of uh, series for dusky, deep brown Indian skin tones, especially with base products. So here is another one. All of these powders are from affordable brands and comes at an affordable price as well. The details for the makeup look that I'm wearing in today's video will be listed in the description box, so don't worry about that. Before beginning with the video, let me give you a small info on loose powders. Loose powders are translucent in nature, so that is why they are called loose powders or translucent powders. So loose powder, just like the name suggests, comes in a loose form instead of a pressed form. Generally, loose powders are translucent in nature, so it is great to set your base or to bake your face, which really helps your base makeup to last very long, as well as adding that slightest bit of coverage instead of making your base look too cakey. And also loose powders really help your base makeup to stay really long when compared to a compact powder because compact powders or pressed powders tend to fade away from your skin pretty fast. So it is best that you use a loose powder to set your base makeup in place so that your makeup prolongs for really long. There are different shades available in loose powders as well so you can choose a desired color according to your skin tone. So that was my quick info on translucent or loose powders. Now without wasting any more time let's begin with the video. The first loose powder is the Bharat and Doris loose powder and this is the shade 05. This is one of my well-loved loose powders to set my face. I really like the shade of this loose powder because it is the perfect baking shade on my complexion. Definitely not too light on my skin that it becomes artificial but this is the perfect baking powder for my complexion so I really love this product. And not only that, this controls my oil really well. It has a very smooth and silky texture to it and the finish is very matte. This does help my makeup to stay for really long hours and comes at a very affordable price for such a big tub. As you can see, I have almost used it up, only a little bit of it is left, so that shows you how much I enjoy this product. There are many shades to choose from on the Bharat and Doris uh, loose powders, so you can choose any shade according to your skin type. But the shade number 5 works on dusky complexions pretty well. The packaging of the Bharat and Doris loose powder is not at all messy. There is a sift in between and your powder can easily come off from the sift and it remains in the tub pretty well without spilling anywhere. The next loose powder is from Pack, and this is their translucent loose powder. The shade that I have is called 09. I do have another shade in this particular same translucent loose powder as well in 05 which is actually an exact color of my skin tone so I use that more for setting and not for baking but I like the shade 09 for baking as well as setting my face since it is a couple of shades lighter than my own complexion. Again Pack translucent powder is also very very affordable and they have a lot of shades to choose from so if you are on the dusky skin side you can easily find a match in this particular range. So this is 09 and this is 05 as you can see 05 is much more deeper and has a bit of yellow undertone to it. The shade 0 09 has slight bit of peachy undertone to it and it's pretty light on my skin so it works as a great baking powder on my complexion. The shade 05 is much more uh, darker than 09 and it has a lot of golden and yellow undertones to it so if you are somebody who has a deeper and chocolatier skin tone than me you will really like the shade 05. The texture of the pack translucent powder is also very very soft and silky to touch so any skin type can easily use this uh, translucent loose powder. And again this also has a very decent staying power on the skin. The packaging of the pack translucent powder is like this it has a mirror right here and you have a cloth sift in here. When you get the powder out of the sift, the mirror really gets messy so I really don't understand why they put a mirror in here but nonetheless the sift is great and powder comes off from the sift pretty easily. The next loose powder is from e.l.f. and this is called their Halo Glow Powder. The shade that I have is called Medium. Unfortunately, the shade Medium is the last deepest shade available but it's not bad for dusky skin tones. It has a slight bit of yellow undertone to it which makes it pretty workable on dusky or brown Indian skin tones. Now this powder is slightly different from other loose powders because it has this very beautiful soft pearly finish to it. It controls the oil on the skin but also adds that beautiful pearly soft 
focus to your skin especially on the under eyes it adds a lot of brightness and glow over there so it is a beautiful setting powder if you have a drier skin type you will really like this powder since it has that beautiful hydrating sort of a finish to it so anybody with any skin type can use this powder and this does the job perfectly the next loose powder is from faces canada and this is called their ultime pro mineral loose powder the shade that i have is called honey beige which has this very neutral undertone to it the shade honey beige works on my dusky complexion pretty well as a baking powder this loose powder is very lightweight on the skin yet it mattifies the skin pretty well so those of you who have an oily skin type will really like this powder not so much for drier skin type since it can dry out your skin further it has the softest amount of tint to it so it can work on dusky skin tones easily it also really does help my makeup to stay pretty long on my oily skin so it is a great loose powder again the packaging of this loose powder is very unique uh, you have this puff sort of an applicator which is attached to the cap and inside you have a sifter for the powder to come off it doesn't get much messier like the other translucent loose powder since it is kind of pressed inside the inside the container itself there is no spill whatsoever the next loose powder is one of my favorites again this is the k beauty loose setting powder if you're a follower of my youtube channel then you must know how much i love this product because it is the most affordable best loose powder available in the market i even like this powder more than high end loose powders because it is that great quality of a loose powder everything is on point about this loose powder from the packaging to the texture to the finish to the performance everything is top notch so the packaging is like this you have a sifter inside um the container and the powder comes off from the sift it doesn't get everywhere because you have this thing in the middle which just presses the powder inside back into the container so the powder doesn't get everywhere the texture of this powder is very very soft and smooth it sits so beautifully on the skin the finish of this loose powder is a soft matte finish on the skin it is not at all drying on the skin it is a very very soft and finely milled powder this is the most smoothest and most finely milled powder that i'm showing you in today's video even if you have a drier skin type you would really like this product because it is not at all drying or cakey on the skin it has this very beautiful blurring effect also which is very rare to find in affordable loose powders but this powder has that subtle blurring and filtered um, effect on the skin once you use it even if you layer this powder a lot on the skin it doesn't get cakey you can easily brush off the excess and your face looks very soft and smooth and blurred out this powder really helps to minimize the appearance of pores on my face which is a big concern on my skin personally and this really helps my makeup to stay for very very long hours this is the most long lasting powder that i have in the affordable category there are a ton of shades to choose from from really fair to really deep skin tone by the way the shade that i have is called 05 olive which is the perfect baking or setting powder for my complexion there are many many shades to choose from so if you are from the duskier category you can easily find a match if i have to recommend only one powder out of all these loose powders it would be this this is the best loose powder available in the indian market so definitely pick this up and highly recommend this to everybody the next loose powder is the palladio rice powder and my shade is warm beige i'm not a huge fan of this packaging because the powder does get everywhere when you open it up the shade warm Warm beige is a very good match for dusky or deeper Indian complexion since it has that deeper tint to it. It's not too warm, not too cool. It's right in between, so it's a neutral undertone powder. The texture and finish of this particular powder is pretty matte on the skin. So only if you have an oily skin type can use this powder. Otherwise, if you have a drier skin type, you won't really like this much. It really does help your makeup to stay for really long by controlling the oil production on your skin. So that is why it is most recommended for oily skinned people. The shade Warm Beige is not available everywhere. I got this from Amazon. But yeah, this is also another great affordable loose powders especially if you have an oily skin type. Last but not the least, I have the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Banana. So the packaging looks like this which I'm not a really huge fan of because you have to pour the powder sort of onto the cap each time you use it. 
and the powder gets everywhere and once you're done using this powder if there is some leftover on the cap it will spill everywhere which is not really great so this is a very soft and silky powder the texture of this powder is very very soft and silky and it has that soft matte finish to it shade banana really helps to brighten your skin tone since it has that pale yellow undertone to it especially on the under eyes this really helps to brighten your under eyes and cover up all the under eye bags pretty well they also have another deeper shade in this particular range as well which is called terracotta so as you can see terracotta is a much much deeper shade of a loose powder and it has this very strong orange undertone to it so here is the shade terracotta and as you can see it is much more deeper and has a strong yellow slash orange undertone to it if you have a similar complexion like me or maybe a couple of shades deeper the shade banana would work pretty well on your complexion only if you have a very rich deep dark chocolatey skin tone then you can go for the shade terracotta the shade terracotta doesn't even work as a setting powder on my face since it is pretty dark and my face looks very dark and dull once I use this. I stick to the shade banana which works pretty well on my particular complexion. This is particularly great for oily skin but you can also use if you have a drier skin type if you use a very light hand. If you try to layer it up a lot on your drier skin type it can look a bit more matte and dry on your skin. So use a very light hand when you use this if you have a drier skin type but my oily skin really loves this loose powder and yeah this does help my makeup to stay very very long as well since it has that mattifying property to it now I haven't included the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder in today's video because I'm not a very huge fan of that particular loose powder because whenever I have tried to use that one it has always become cakey on my face maybe I used it in a wrong way or in a higher quantity so that is why but whenever I have tried to use it I really hated that powder so don't hate me if you like the fit me loose powder but yeah these are my top favorite loose powders on me so those are my top recommendations for loose powders when it comes to dusky deep brown tan Indian skin tones I really hope that you guys found this video useful and helpful if you have a dusky or brown Indian skin tones share this video with your dusky or deeper Indian complexion friends they might find this video very useful for them because I know I have struggled a lot when it comes to base products that are available in India it is very very hard to find good uh, products for dusky or deeper Indian complexions especially in India so yeah share this video as much as possible and people who are in the duskier category might really find this useful so that is it for today's video I really hope that you guys found this video useful and helpful and enjoyed watching it if you did make sure to give it a huge Thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified each time I upload a new video on my channel. Stay home and stay safe and take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!